Okay, um, next job is to get the oil pump back on. Hopefully you can hear me all right. I'll try and talk loud because the GoPro's in its case on the tripod. Um, so first of all, I'll just clean the, the face off. Weirdly, where the oil pump sits on doesn't have any form of seal on there, which I think I thought it would do, but obviously not. Um, okay, so I'll drop the other pump back on. There's two dowels on the front mounting holes to get it located. Um, so just make sure he's all the way home. And then, yeah, there's just a 6mm Allen screw. Round head. And the torque setting for these bolts, they're an M8 bolt, and TIS calls for them to be 20 newton meters. I mean, whenever doing some of Whenever doing um, something like this, I always get the bolts in sort of a semi-tight stage all the way around. Just so he's all the way sat down. So they're all done up to 20 newton meters. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the oil strainer there because this one's damaged. Pick you up. Then. Okay, so this pickup tube does have a um, gasket on there, and I should have a new one of them as well. Have a look in my box and tricks.
there's a gas heater as well. This new pickup tube was about 60 quid, which was a bit of a rip off for what it is. But yeah, that's standard BM pricing. Some parts make sense how much they charge for them, and other ones are just completely stupid. Um, and just to check. The torque setting for these bolts is 9 Newton meters. Okay, so that's that done, and the next box of tricks is the Vanos pump. Uh, earlier in the video, changed all the um, all the little guides on there and as such. Um, I'm putting the shim back in. Oh no, nope, calm down a minute. Not the Vanos pump just yet. There's that little um, filter for the Vanos pump. What I have to do is change that. Best way to get this out, I do not know. No, nope, not a hot plate. Standard BM boot screwdriver. Nope. on the filter now let's see what's it look like metallic or is it yeah it is a, it is metallic in there whether it's some bearing material it's picked up so yeah it's definitely worth changing that while we're in there um, that's the part number. Anyone who's doing the same job. And with the new one. Push it in. No. 
standard BM screwdriver again, use the handle. There we go, just popped in, make sure he's nice and flush. That's the beauty of using plastic handles, you don't damage any of the metal or anything like that. So now we can get on to the Vanos pump. I'm putting the shim back in. Um, I did look around online I couldn't see the exact reasoning for not putting the shims back in. I think the Vanos pump might have changed ever so slightly at a later date when they changed the, to the re revised gears as well with a different tooth pattern. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this back in. I can't see any harm in having it in there because when you set in the backlash anyway, um, it, even if you had these in it, it just mean that you'd have to knock the pump slightly closer to the crank because the height to be higher um, so yeah for me just putting it back in it was there when I took it out so it's going to stay in there I haven't changed the Vanos gears so I trust that BM knew what they were doing when they built the engine other than the rod bearings obviously um, Yep, yeah, there's the I have seen in TIS as well it says to put a cable tie to hold the van off line back. So all I'm gonna do is just put a cable tie around this van off accumulator just to hold the Final slide back to the block. Not with that one on that one too. That thing here will do. I'll do it. Should be able to get that in here somewhere. So that holds him there and it doesn't stop the shim from being in the way um, I'll just pull the thing out. so yeah if you don't hold the vanos line back out of the way it could pull the shim over and you might not know if it was like that you wouldn't know because the bolt would still go in so the idea is to hold the vanos line out of the way so you can get the shim in the right place and align the um, Align the bolt straight through into the thread there. So what we're looking at now is there's a shim on there as well. You can see him just spinning round. So you've got shim on there, shim on there, which spaces him up. Um, I've already changed the piston as we did earlier. So we'll look at getting the pump in now. What I've just done is just drop the drop the, the chain around the oil pump for now, and then we'll put the, uh, the sprocket back on in a bit. But yeah, you might be able to see this movement. So the the Vanos pump is on slotted holes, and that's where you get your adjustment to set the backlash. Um, so yeah, that's part of setting the backlash. Uh, this chain guide is on an elongated hole as well, so as you move it, it can um, just slide up and down on there. So we'll have a look at what bolts we've got. Mm. 
you can actually see now as well to make sure that the shim is in the right place you can just lift the pump up yeah happy with that and get that bolt threaded in What you have to do with these bolts for the Vanos pump is have them um, just nipped up. They're only torqued to 10 newton meters, so they're never ridiculously tight. Um, so we'll have a go at draining it now. Setting a DTI gauge up on the gear of the Vanos pump can be quite fiddly. Um, what I'll do is I'll just release that out of the way. Just drop him down there. The line will be a bit awkward because there's a bit of tension on him but if you push him down when you bolt him up it will pull it round. Um, so I mean at the minute where I've dropped him on I can't feel any play in that pump at all. So I've just moved him away a bit. You can feel a bit of play in him there now, so I'm just going to pull them down ever so slightly and use that as my starting point. If you can feel a bit of a rock in the gear, then that's good. So literally, I mean, no, no tension on there at all. Still, still a rock in the gear. Um, I'll get the DTI gauge set up. This DTI gauge measures in 0.0001 of an inch. Um, and what we're looking for is between 31 and 26, I believe. I'll have to double check that on my phone. Um, there's a good guide for doing this, the Vanos line and the rod bearings from German, German Auto Solutions in America. Um, I'd recommend that as definitely a sort of go-to guide. It gives you, lists you all torque specs and such. Um, I'm going to check the backlash in a couple of different places. Um, I, with a magnetic base, I'm going to check here and then confirm it off the original position at BMC there. It's just a bit easier off there with this DTI gauge that I've got. Um, so what you've got to do is you've got to rock the gear all the way one way and just hold the pressure on him. What I'll do is I'll move you around. I think doing the rod bearings might be easier with the engine in the car but doing this is easier with the engine on the engine stand so it is all down to personal preference and whether you want to pull the engine or not so you see there the DTI gauge moving when I'm rocking the gear so pull him all the way around and we'll zero the gauge and then we'll rock him and we'll see what we've got right so we've got that's 40 60 about 60 um, thousand 60 thousand there which is too much so all I'm gonna do is with the plastic handle of a screwdriver just tap the pump in and then we can you're gonna have to zero the DTI gauge again and rock him and he's not moved at all so starting with my just a little bit too tight back him off ever so slightly a rubber mallet will be useful right now but I haven't got one to hand I probably should have bought one for this job so just to that felt that move there so that's rocked all the way back and now look you can see that freaking now we've got no movement at all so it literally is the smallest amount so just have a little so if we rock that back 
can check him now. Miles too much again, it literally is just keep playing with him till you get it. Correct, I think even more than when we started with, so just getting somewhere near now. Really not hitting it very hard at all. Oh. Right, okay, so now we're down to 20,000, which is too much. Okay, so that is there. That is. 31 thou. I'm just going to check on the German Auto Solutions because that actually converts the BM, the, like the TIS specs, into inches, which is for the site for the for the measuring measurement unit to the DTI gauge I've got. Yes, yeah, so it's saying use a plastic or rubber mallet. Or end of a screwdriver to tap the vanos pump left or right as needed to obtain a measured backlash of slightly over 31 thou. This will probably take several attempts at tapping the pump back and forth to get it right, as you saw. And it says we are shooting for 31 thou with the bolt snunk, which we hope will be less than, which will be no less than 26 thou with the bolts torque to spec. So what we'll do now is we'll torque the bolts to spec. Um, and we'll see if that measurement changes. So, just to check again, 0, 31. So, now these are to 10 newton meters. I'm just going to go around in stages. Try and hold him where he is, hopefully he doesn't move, so that's one, that's two, three, just go around again, one, two, three, moment of truth there, pushing home, set zero again, yep, rock him, it's about 33, one more for good luck. Miles too much, I could tell you that already. So now we are, I don't know, maybe not. That is reading bang on 31. actually see the DTI gauge moving as I'm talking these down. Set to zero. Okay, so then, these at 
26 there which has taken us down from 31 to 26 which is at the tighter end of our tolerance so what I'm going to do now is move the DTR gauge up to here recheck it and then probably move it back down there again just to recheck it I'll pause the video that you've seen me for long enough now fricking about with this and I'll pick it up once I've checked this okay so I'm just going to put the bolt back in for the chain guide the torque setting for that is 9 newton meters according to TIS I stopped the camera because I went and triple checked the Vanos pump about another three times, kept moving it around just to be 400% sure that it is set right because it's been known that if the gears are set wrong then it can actually destroy the, the gears um, and you can actually feel a little bit of play in that. It's obviously tight but you can feel some play whereas when I took the engine apart um, there, was, there was nothing at all as you saw. Um, so next on the list is the oil pump. That's obviously the gear. Um, I am just going to clean the thread off a little bit because you put thread lock on there so I'm just going to give them a bit of a clean break cleaner. Just make sure there's no oil on there, stop the lock tight doing his thing. Just to make sure the gear goes back on the same way the writing with the part number on on mine was facing outwards and you can see um, sort of the hex pattern of the nut um, there's a couple of different types of oil pump um, and that also changes what torque setting you do it to I think there's a serrated drive and there's a dihedron drive which this one is um, so what you need to do is you need to push you need to push down on the tensioner there push down on that which will give you slack on the oil pump and then putting the oil pump nut on which I'm pretty sure I've got a new nut for with oil pump nuts I always just replace them as a matter of course um, just to be on the safe side because I know not so much on this engine but on the M52s and 4s and 50s they're, they're known for the um, pumps um, oil pump nuts to come loose and, and such like that people have um, drilled them and put lock wire in and all sorts in the past um, I'll just double check the torque setting for this. Depending on the oil pump drive that you've got, depends on um, what torque setting you do. So it says um, sprocket wheel to oil pump with serrated two thin. So that would be like um, serrated two thin inside the gear, um, or and that is. And that is 25 newton meters and the sprocket wheel to oil pump with a dihedron which i believe this drive is um is 55 newton meters and it actually says replace the nut so there's the reasoning behind that i'm just going to take a quick phone call and i'll get back onto this sorry about that so the torque setting for the oil pump nut is 55 newton meters with a dihedron um, drive in the middle and it calls for loctite 648 
Um, so yeah, I just bought this off eBay. It's about twelve or thirteen quid. Probably never going to get used again. Um, it's green, high strength. I thought red was high strength, but obviously not. So just get a bit on. bit on there. Probably never to be used again. Um, and then yet yeah, new nut. Fifty Five newton meters. It's a sixteen mil socket. Okay. So there we go with that. Okay, now the next thing is, what are we going to do now? I need to have a look at getting the Vanos line connected, which can be quite fiddly. Okay, a little tip for anyone doing this. All I did was just with um, a long screwdriver, just put it down the side of the gear and just put a little bit of pressure on the line and that just pulls him pulls him round and then once you've got him starting you can take your pressure off and you'll know if it screws in nicely um, just ever so lightly with a ratchet so all I was doing is just and if you watch the banjo you just see that little bit of pressure there just pulls him in square to it and allows you to get the banjo in um, just pull you around here. So yeah, I'll show you just with a tiny bit of pressure. Look, I can spin him in with my fingers now. It's really not much at all. Just to put a kink in him. Uh, 25 newton meters. Okay, he's done up. Sorry about that, the camera memory card um, was full. Uh, I was just about to pour some oil in the strain there, but before I do that, I'm going to put the, um, the pickup tube back on first. Um, you need to make sure you change that O-ring if you have this off, because over time, the old one will be compressed and it might not get a new seal when it seats again. Uh, that is the part number for the o-ring um, looking I've just double checked and it appears that the two bolts which go one there into the block and the other there onto that bracket um, if you replace them they come with Loctite on there so what I'm going to do is just put some of the same lock type we put on the oil pump um, on um, both bolts just to be on the safe side just put them in loosely for now And the two bolts that go into the back of the pump, they don't have any um, thread lock on there. Uh, 
Um, going back to that O-ring, just put a bit of uh, oil on it to help him slide in a bit easier. I think we need a T30 if I remember correctly. And the torque setting for all of these with them being M6 is all 9 newton meters. Okay, so that's that all tight, and now I'll just prime the pumps up. That's the sump gasket. I'm going to go on one way. Let's just make sure he's lined up over all the holes. I've already made sure that the sump is clean. I'll just hold him over my head for good measure. Final think, is everything done? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, how many bits have I got left that I've missed out? Hopefully not many. Um, all the oil pumps tight, vanos pumps tight, backlash is done, chain guides tight, pickup tubes are on, all the bolts are tight. That should be it. Hopefully I never have to see the inside of here again. It's not all the way home just yet. And there we go. He's sitting on there, so I'll just grab the template from before um, something I have had done is a bung welded on the front of the sump um, the later engines they had an extra drain plug here because this part of the sump never got emptied of oil when you drained it um, so yeah I've got a bung welded in there and you can just put a sump plug in there um, but I'm actually putting a oil temp sensor in there instead but we'll get to that a bit later on I'll probably be in another video to get this working but that's going to be technically my front sump plug just like that so I'm going to get all the bolts in for the sump now then start look at putting all the other bits back on.
Okay, a couple of things to note when putting the um, sump back on. While it's still loose, you want to make sure you've got this line tucked underneath the um, Vanos accumulator bracket. Otherwise, it can be difficult. It doesn't matter if it's not in exactly the right place, but as long as it's tucked underneath, because it can get really tough once you get further down. And the next thing is, when you're tightening the sump up, if you look, you can have the pan so it isn't flush there. So what you want to do is you want to have get this end set first and make sure it's flush here for when you pull the gearbox in otherwise um, the gearbox won't locate properly onto the engine or if it's pushed forward it could be putting excess stress on the sump so what I'd recommend is, is like a um, straight edge or just a flat piece of metal like that just to make sure you can always pull him further back than he needs to and then just use that to push him in and just make sure that he's nice and flush with that. Um, these screws along here, you need a really long T30 or this snap-on ratcheting screwdriver works really well. I'm just going to get these ones sort of half nip first. All the sump bolts are all M6 and they're all done up to um, 10 newton meters. Um, there is some that are not going to be able to torque. Um, these ones and them ones under there unless you've got some form of torque spanner you can just get a ring spanner in there to tighten them up but everything else that can be torqued will be torqued so I'm going to do that now. That's the engine all back together now. Um, couple of less little bits, the, that's the oil temp sensor I'm going to try and get work with the gauge on the E39 cluster. Um, got a couple of bits to do, just going to weld that up because it blows through there. Did put some sealing on before but that just needs um, fixing so I'm going to do that while it's out. Um, I'm going to get him flipped back over, manifold back on and that sort of stuff. So I think I'm going to end this video here now we're sort of done with the engine and then probably pick up another one on when it's back in um, and that will all be that so I'll see you on the next video